we all want to live. We want to live our best lives. We want to fulfill our dreams and aspirations. Yet we notice that despite all of our efforts, despite sometimes a burst of energy and motivation, all of that seems to be gone by the time we wake up in the morning. There must be a secret. The alarm goes off, slicing through the darkness in the bedroom. Outside, it's cold and moist, but here inside, it's so warm and soft. And the thought of putting on your running shoes just to go outside, that isn't appealing at all. What do you do? If you are like most of us, you start making excuses. It's just too cold outside. I need more sleep and I'm not feeling very well today. Now, imagine the same scenario, but you are a famous athlete. Your bed is also cozy and soft. And the weather outside is still miserable, but you've already figured it out. Yes, they put on their running shoes. They go outside. And so what we really want to know is, what is their secret? And there is a surprising truth. Keep watching to find out because the truth is also that you can do it as well. You can start living and not just existing. What prevents us most from achieving our dreams isn't laziness. It is fear, but not the type of fear that you are thinking about. Maybe you are in a job interview and just the thought of it gives you sweaty palms or you are terrified of starting a business because you could lose all your money. But the fear that I am talking about comes before that. It is the fear that prevents you from applying to the job in the first place. It is the fear that stops you from thinking about business ventures because you're just not that type of person. You just want a simple life. It's not for you. And that fear is so subtle, so limiting. You don't even notice it until you're building a life or rather an existence around it. And fear can be justified. And you've already heard that you won't know until you really try. And so once in a while, you go out on a limp and you try. And then you fail. And then you give up. And you will fail, I'm telling you that. Take Michael Jordan, the famous basketball player. He couldn't even get into the college basketball team because nobody saw his talent. And it hurt, and he was devastated. But then he used that failure to grow. He didn't give up, he used what he learned to make it better. So trying is and doing something once and then fail and give up. It is doing it over and over again. Of course, not the same thing. That would be insanity. But trying to achieve your goal in different ways over and over again, despite your brain trying to tell you that life is limited. Maybe you think that those who succeed just want to win. They are determined. But that is just part of the truth. Psychologists coined a phrase for professional athletes, and that is prime confidence. With prime confidence, you are able to stay confident even if you're not performing at your best. And that can happen periodically to even the best of athletes. You're not negative and uncertain in difficult competitions, nor are you overconfident in easy competitions. And we can learn from the five keys to prime confidence. The first is preparation. If you feel prepared for a task, you will feel more confident. And if you find a routine that helps you every single day in your life, you will feel more confident. The second part are mental skills, and that is a form of preparation as well. Maybe you meditate, or maybe you have self-affirmations that you repeat for yourself every single day. And if you do so, that makes you more confident as well. But think about how many perfect days we have. Yeah, we can all think and prepare ourselves for the perfect day where we feel well, we eat healthy, we got up on time and the traffic was light, so we have no issue getting where we need to be. But that isn't very realistic. 
The reality is that often we face adversity, often we get stuck in traffic, or we wake up late, we miss an alarm. So the third key to prime confidence is to embrace that adversity, because no athlete really has a competition on that perfect day, and neither will you. One thing that all successful people do have in common is that they have build a support network, somebody who can give them a boost of confidence when things don't go so well. And that can be your partner, it could be your best friend, maybe it's a mentor or a coach. And what everyone who has success also has in common is that they do remember their successes. I know of myself that sometimes when I have done something successfully, I tick it off my list and after that I don't value it as much as when I wanted to achieve it. So I strive to do something and then I get it and suddenly I want to forget all about it. But remembering your successes will feed your prime confidence. And now you must build your life. Action by action. Every action fed by that self-confidence that you are doing the best that you can. And yes, there are many factors that can determine the speed of success, that determine how far you go on your road to success. But you alone can determine how far you want to push every single action that you take day by day. When the mind goes into the future, it stops performing at its best. There's nothing wrong with saying that I want to be better at something. But if you are in the middle of something, if you perform an action, then keep your mind focused on that don't let it wander into the future. It performs best in the present moment. Just as athletes enjoy the practice as much as the competition, you can enjoy every single step towards your dream life as much as the end outcome. The surprising truth is there is no secret. Life is an amalgamation of actions linked by each step with a desire to do our best. Existing is just thinking about your dream life, but living is enjoying the process to get there. And what does make it easier is having the right preparation physically and mentally, embracing adversity, having a support network and remembering your successes. I invite you to go on that path with me, action by action, step by step. Maybe one step is clicking that like button for the YouTube algorithm because you got value out of this video. Or if you want to know more, even subscribing to the channel to listen to other advice. Or you go into the description box below, click on the link because you can talk about your dream life together with me on a completely free call. Either way, start building your support network. Let's do it.